Elizabeth Chu, Executive Vice President and Chief Curator at James Madison's Montpelier. And I'm here to show you a very unusual furniture form from the early 19th century. Now, most people, and I, am, I am, would include in that even most furniture historians, probably think that the sectional sofa was developed and popularized in the 20th century. But in fact, in this area of central Virginia, we find a group of three-part sectional sofas um, that date to the first two decades of the 19th century, so basically between 1800 and 1820, and that they particularly seem to have evolved in the particular area of Virginia in which Montpelier is situated, and that is the around the counties of Orange and Culpeper and up into the Fredericksburg area. Um, so how, what, what was this all about? What, is, what does it mean? Why does it look like something we could have bought at Pottery Barn last week? Well, um, this form is basically a sort of vernacular, more kind of popular, less elite version of a form of box sofa designed and made popular really in the last half of the 18th century um, from the designs of the highly influential British furniture designer George Heppel White. And what this does is take a sort of high style George Heppel White sofa, which would have been what would have been higher on slenderer legs, and it makes it lower, a little bit chunkier and clunkier, and then it makes it able to be divided out into three different pieces, as we all know sectional can be. So um, this would have been this would have been very handy in plantation houses in rural areas where it was useful to be able to move furniture around and adapt it as needed, particularly useful to be able to take outside and to use in outdoor living areas. Um, it was really designed to be very lightweight and able to be moved around. Um, and then it could also be adapted inside a house as either a chair that would fit in a corner as a traditional longer sofa or you could also take the center section out, push the two uh, ends together, and have what we might today call a love seat. So it's very interesting that this furniture form, um, that we see it sort of, um, uh, you know, arrive in this part of Virginia, and in um, areas and in families actually that have some relationship to the Madison family. Now, the, um, the one that I'm showing you here is a reproduction of an original surviving example um, from the James Madison Museum in the town of Orange, Virginia, um, that we, and we had a reproduction made for use at Montpelier. We don't actually know that the Madisons had one here, but they very likely could have. Um, so, um, a surprising um, example of a very high style item made uh, more kind of accessible and popular um, in Virginia in the first decades of the 19th century.